Hey guys, welcome to the another session of JMeter tutorial. If you find the video useful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos. So let's get started. So in the today's session, we'll learn how we can do the execution from the command line for the JMeter test. So first of all, why the execution from the command line is required? Because if we have this JMeter GUI, so why we will be doing the execution from the command line? So the thing is that if we are doing an extensive load test using the GI GUI mode, your JMeter application might get freezed. And also since this GUI mode requires a lot of resources and it consumes a lot of memory, so you can get an undesirable response. You can get the undesirable undes results of your load test. So for that case, so what is the solution? For that case, you need to do the execution from the command line because GUI, is, uh, GUI of JMeter is designed just for test recording, development and for debugging purpose. So JMeter is designed to do the high load test using the command line. Okay, so we need to do the execution from the command line if you are doing an extensive load testing. And if you navigate to the JMeter documents, so this is the JMeter documents. And if you see here, it has been clearly mentioned that don't run load test using the GUI mode. Okay, so it has been clearly mentioned. So in that case, we need to do the execution from the command line. So for that, we need to give the commands in the command prompt. I will show you how we can do that. We'll navigate to command prompt. And I will move to the bin folder of the JMeter now. So I will copy this path. now I am in the bin folder here I need to give the command. So this is my command which I need to give. So what is my command? I need to type the JMeter then this minus n. So what is this minus n? This minus n means to do the execution in the non-GUI mode. Okay. So after that I need to type minus t. What is this t? t means the location of the JMX file, which we need to do the execution. So I will do, I will give the path of my JMX file over here. So this is my project folder and here is my project. So I will give the path. Now I need to type minus L. What is this minus L? This minus L means location of the test log file. That is the file where we need to place our results. Result, so from the command line execution will happen and after that the results will be saved to a particular place. So that particular place location we need to give. So I will keep my result in my results folder. So I will give the path over here this path I took and I will give a empty CSV file if this file has not been created in your directory then that will be created automatically with the result and if that is already created, then make sure that this result file is empty. Okay. So this is the entire command which we need to give in the command prompt. So once you are in the bin folder, please provide this command. And yes, my execution has started. So what it did, it created the tree structure successfully, starting the test, summary is there and tidying up. Okay, so yes, my execution is over. 
let me show you yes my file has been created and i will open the file now so yes i got the result file successfully i have all the field names over here and all i have all the values over here so yes this is the process how we can do the execution from the command line and we can generate the report also now we have one another command over here from there we can get all the options what we can do from the command line for the jmeter so let me show you that one also this is jmeter minus h so what all it showed it showed all the options that if we want to list all the command line options open command prompt and type this to run a command prompt in GUI mode, do this. Similarly, to run Apache JMeter in non-GUI mode and generate report at end. So for that, what we need to do that is mentioned over here. So any of the stuff that which we need to do, you can uh, take it from the here. You can take the commands from here. So that's all for the command line execution for JMeter. And in the coming sessions, we'll see some other interesting facts of the JMeter. Thank you. Have a nice day.